Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe if you are new here and happy Friday guys So today's video is gonna be a full cover Friday video and I will be testing out a new drugstore foundation for you guys uh, I'm pretty excited to see what I think about this because I haven't seen any reviews myself on it um, But I do know some youtubers have done reviews. I just haven't seen any so I don't really know what to expect or anything like that in other news I want to let you guys know just in case you didn't see my last video that I did start a family vlog channel with my husband and daughter um, I will have it linked down in the description below it is the hey now family but if you can't look it up in the search because there is no content on it yet there will be a link in the description if you want to go subscribe to that all vlogs and pregnancy updates will be on that channel for now on so if you want to kind of keep up with like my pregnancy and our family then go check out that channel for sure um but yeah i don't have anything else to mention right now so if you are new here please subscribe before you leave join our little family also you can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts down in the comments what foundations you guys want to see in the future and also turn on your post notifications so that way you can get notified every time i post a new video um, yeah, that's all I have to say right now. So if you are ready to see what foundation I'm going to be using today and how it performs, then just keep watching. So I already have my brows done, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start with primer. For primer, I'm going to be using this No Pore Blum Prime Essence from Touch and Soul. Um, this came in our BoxyCharm last month. Um... But I can't find my other primer that I always use, my Darbin Blend one. I can't find it. I have no idea where it's at. So I'm just going to use this guide to prime today. And it's like very watery. <laughs> it's literally like a water. Yeah, like it's just water. <laughs> That's what it feels like at least. Alright, so now that we are all primed, I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. Um, it says it is a natural finish. I got the shade 410. <sighs> um, I don't know if this is going to match me really well. When I was looking at them in the store, this one looked the closest to my skin tone because the next one down from this looked way too light. So hopefully this works out fairly well for me. Um, for my foundation application, I'm going to be using a sponge and a brush. I'll be using a sponge on this side, a brush on this side, but I'm going to be using the Morphe. Um contour and highlight sponge and then the morphe m439 brush so i'm going to zoom you guys in so we can have a little bit of a better look and then we will get started okay so this foundation might be a little bit too dark for me i don't know we'll see but again i'm in the shade 410 and i'm just gonna pump this it does come in like a pump and it does have it's 0.75 fluid ounces it's not quite one ounce but i'm gonna pump this onto the back of my hand and just apply it from my sponge so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the shade is just like a tiny bit orange, but it's not too far off from my skin tone, I guess. The coverage is pretty good. It says it's medium, but it's coming off a little bit more full, in my opinion, because this is using a sponge and it's pretty good. Wow, didn't expect that. Yeah, the shade is way too or orange for me. Maybe if I get a little bit darker, but I have more of a yellow undertone, and this definitely is orange. That's all right. We'll try to fix it with concealer and stuff. It doesn't really have, like, a fragrance to it. It just kind of smells like foundation. And not even a lot, just like a hint. But it doesn't have any perfume in it, which is nice. Okay, so that is one layer on. Um, the coverage is pretty decent. Yeah, the coverage is pretty decent. I'm pretty surprised. I would say that this is more full coverage than medium coverage. Um, only because I know I have a lot. I mean, it's not like the fullest coverage, but I know I have a lot to cover. So for anybody who doesn't have necessarily as much as I have to cover, this would probably be full coverage on them. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna build this up though and see how well it builds since they say it is it or it does say that it is buildable So we're gonna build this up and see what it's like 
All right, so that's two layers on and I really, really like the way this looks on my skin. I like the finish of it. Um, it is really dewy right now, but it is supposed to be a more natural finish. And um, I think once it's set down with powder, it's gonna look really good. But the coverage is really good and it builds up really nicely and it doesn't look heavy at all on my skin. And it's not accentuating my texture at all. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about this foundation. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. Um, and yeah, so far, so good. I think it looks really, really good. Pretty impressed. All right, so I'm done with the sponge side. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the brush side really quickly and see how well the brush works if I get a little bit more coverage out of a brush. Um, with this side, I'm just gonna kind of put this on my face and then blend it out. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm definitely getting more coverage out of the brush for sure. All right, so that's one full layer on with a brush and the brush gave me full coverage. It covered just about everything. So with less than one pump, I still have some on the back of my hand with less than a pump. So definitely a brush. If you want more coverage, I would go in with the brush, but I'm gonna build it up just right here in this area and on my nose. Um, and then I will give you guys a close up. Okay, so I'm completely done applying the foundation on both sides and the coverage is really, really good. I am really surprised and by this because it's supposed to be medium coverage, but the coverage is really, really good. I'm, I'm really shocked. The finish is really pretty. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look heavy. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with this foundation. I think I found a win. The only downfall for me is that the shade is off. I do look orange. Hopefully I can balance that out when I'm done with all my foundation and all my face makeup um, with like concealer and powder and stuff like that. But it is too orange for me. I am more yellow undertoned than the foundation. But um, other than that, Looks really good. I really hope it wears really well because I'm very, very pleasantly surprised right now. But I'm going to give you guys a close up really quickly so you can see what it looks like on my skin before I do the rest of my makeup. And then I will come back and update you um, once all of my makeup is on. And then I will update you again at the end of the night so you can see how it wore throughout the day. Before I forget though, it is currently 2.30. So we'll see how long I keep this on for and how well it wears for the amount of hours that I have it on. But yeah, I'm going to give you guys a close up really quickly. All right, so here's a full face view. Here is the sponge set. And here is the brush side. All right guys, so I am back and all of my makeup is done. Um, the foundation still looks really, really, really good. I did try to kind of like tone it down a little bit. It is still just hair too orange, um, but uh, definitely setting in and adding my concealer and powders and stuff, it definitely helped. So it looks a little bit better. Hopefully it looks fine on, ca on camera, but it is a little bit too orange. I don't even think the tone is too dark, like too, too dark, but just the, the shade of it is just a little bit too orange. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers before I give you guys close-ups of the foundation. So the foundation is 0.75 fluid ounces. It's not one full fluid ounce. I am in the shade 410 Toast. Um, it does come in 31 shades, at least there's 31 shades sold at Ulta. It retails for $10.99 at Ulta, but it also retails for $9.99 at Target and $8.97 like, or something like that at Walmart. I got it from Walmart and that's the cheapest place I could find it. So I would just check before you decide you're going to buy it somewhere because I wouldn't want to pay $11 when I can pay $8 at Walmart, you know? Um, but yeah, I do really like the finish of it. It still looks really good. 
and I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I did prefer the finish of it without powder. Even with the powder, it still looks pretty good, especially for a drugstore foundation, but the finish without a powder was so pretty. Um, so if you don't mind a tacky foundation, I personally don't like tacky foundations. I don't like it when my foundation's not set, but if you don't mind a tacky foundation and you have dry skin and you don't prefer to, to set your foundation, then I think the finish is absolutely beautiful without a powder. Um, but it still does look really good and I am still pleasantly surprised by it and I'm really just hoping that it wears really well throughout the day because I, th I think it looks really good. I am going to give you guys a close up really quickly now so you can see what it looks like with all of my makeup sitting on top of it and then I will update you guys at the end of the night. So here's a full face view. Here is the sponge side. Here is the brush side. I will say looking at the up close parts of this, um, at least from here, I do think I prefer the brush side over the sponge side. But yeah, I will update you guys at the end of the night. And also if you're wondering what lashes I'm wearing, they are in the style Jasper. They are for Gemini J Cosmetics. And I will let, I will leave that information linked down in the description below. And then my lip combo, I'm wearing the NYX lip liner in mauve. And then I have the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade uh, Peach Tea lip gloss on top. But yeah, I will update you guys at the end of the night so you can see how everything is looking. Hey guys, so I am back. It is currently 11.20 and I've had this foundation on for about 9 hours, almost 9 hours. I put it on at 2.30 and it is currently 11.20. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this foundation. So the first thing that I noticed is that it still just looks really, really good. Um, I did, my oils are shining just a little bit right here, my T-zone, on my chin, my forehead. Um, that's pretty normal for me. I have more combination skin, I guess, um, where my T-zone gets oily and then the rest of my face stays pretty matte. Um, but they didn't, they didn't like overly come out. They, they still are out of bay, I guess. They don't look crazy. I don't look super greasy or anything. Honestly, I prefer when foundations do this, but my face overall still just looks really, really good. Um, my pores aren't showing like crazy, the foundation didn't rub off, it's still all on, it still just looks really really good. Yeah, it's not cakey around my nose, which is such a plus for me because I always get cakiness around my nose. Um, and yeah, it just, it still looks really really good. I'm really happy with how this wore and I wore it for a pretty decent amount of time, guys. I wore it for a pretty long time today, so um, yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. If you are more overly oily, um, you might have to like blot or like touch up throughout the day. But if you aren't crazy oily or anything like that, or you're, you're more like me where you have more combination skin, this might be a great foundation for you. I think it looks really, really good. I'm very happy with this foundation. I wish, I just wish that the shade matched me a little bit better because this is, like I said earlier in the video, that it is too orange for me. Um, but maybe as I get darker in the summer, um, this will work a little bit better with my skin tone. But for now, I could probably mix it with some foundations and get a really good color for me. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with this foundation. I think this foundation is really, really good. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it or try it or anything like that. So I don't know if it's like just super underrated, I don't, I have no idea. Or if it's just still really new so people don't really know about it, I don't know. But if you are looking for a good drugstore full coverage foundation, um, I would definitely give this one a try because I think it looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna be you guys close up real quickly and then I will close out this video. So here's a full face view. Here is the sponge side. And here is the brush side. 
So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And um, if you have any questions on any of the products that I use, they will be listed down in the description below. So check out the description box if you want to know what products were used, including my concealer and setting powder and all of that. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have anything else to mention right now. So I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!